My name is Aditya Pias. I'm the president and founder of All India MMA Federation. We started this federation back in 2016 uh, when a bunch of guys thought about creating a movement in MMA in India. We were fighting against corruption. We were fighting against people who are not supporting us. So today we are proud. This is our second year. We've been having a very active uh, time frame with MMA here. This is uh, the IHF, one of the biggest expo in India, sports and fitness expo. And we're glad to be here, uh, present here, and doing this um, amazing event. Okay, I'm Raktin Singha. Uh, I'm 18 years old. I'm fighting out of Calcutta, combat clan, and this will be my second fight in all. Uh, how did you get into MMA? Uh, before this, like I saw, I used to see WWE, yeah. and then from WWE I saw Brock Lesnar. Oh, okay. From Brock Lesnar to UFC, to UFC. then okay. from UFC to MMA. Then I, I like thought I should start martial arts or something. I, I had already been in martial arts before that when I was in class 2 for one year. I used to do Taekwondo. And then after that at 13 years age, I started doing Kyokushin Karate, full contact Karate. And then slowly I entered into kickboxing. And I, I have been two times national champion in kickboxing. And after that I slowly now transitioned to MMA. My name is Alisa and I am in ASIC. My age is 20 years. और मैं पिछले आठ साल से मैं मार्शल आर्ट फिल्म में हूँ और काफी सारे फाइट्स किए अभी तक पता नहीं कितने किए और एमएमए मैंने चार साल से मैं कर रही हूँ मिक्स मार्शल आर्ट्स आप एमएमए में क्यों क्यों स्टार्ट किया फिर आह एक्चुअली मेरा बेसिक जो गेम था वो किकबॉक्सिंग था तो किकबॉक्सिंग से स्टार्ट तो थोड़ा सा इंटरेस्ट बढ़ गया कि लगा कि मैं कंपीट कर सकती हूँ तो मैंने प्रैक्टिस स्टार्ट किया तब से। My name is Arman and I'm a software engineer. So I've been working in an IT company since last four years. And recently means I was not into MMA from starting from my childhood. But yeah, it was my dream from my childhood. I just started it when means I just saw UFC. Okay. Then I came to know that means yeah, this sport actually exists. Uh, actually, I was a very, I didn't have much of self-confidence when I started it. So I started it to gain self-confidence. So it helped me a lot in gaining self-confidence. Because I like it, I love it, it's my passion. I want to be a professional fighter, that's why. Actually, sir, I was doing Wushu. Wushu is a sports government, yeah. but it was not a lot of fights. It was fun for me. 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 Hi, my name is Banka Brown. I'm from Mumbai. I was born and raised in Muscat. My fight record is 3 to 1. How did you get into MMA? It was a long-going passion. I had a passion for it when I was a kid, but then I couldn't achieve it because of studies and Eri's parents wished not to get too violent. So as I grew up and as I reached a level of maturity, uh, I had the right to actually uh, pursue my dreams in MMA and uh, I'm pursuing that now. Okay, so I'm Bal Krishna Patange. I am an MMA fighter from Mumbai. I am representing India in the World Championships uh, this November. So yeah, I started MMA four years ago. Now I am a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and uh, my I also am, I do striking as well as Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, so that's it. So how important is it for MMA that we have amateur tournaments like this? Oh, definitely. For for example, like. It, it gives you a platform for growth, right? You can't just go professionally against, you know, uh, international competition or even national competition here, professional is uh, quite good according to the, the time it has taken. For example, it's uh, like, it's just, it's just been 10 years and it has really grown fast. It's, the growth is exponential right now. So, amateur thing really helps you because the competition experience is something else which cannot be, you cannot go directly to pros. You have to first, Take the experience in amateur without the pressure of the crowd and without the pressure of the media. 
then you go you get used to this then you go to pro professional where you get the media attention and all but amateur is a must you talk about discipline that's so much discipline respect is compulsory in mma as in lot of guys they come uh, some guys fought amateur and they come inside a gym and challenge a pro fighter oh i'm going to fight you i'm going to kick your ass that's not perfect okay you should know what you are up to level mma is not a joke okay mma is not a joke you can lose anything okay because when you go to amateur they all all time they give you like they tell you to wear a shin guard they will tell you to wear a gloves they don't allow elbows on your face in amateur okay but in pro they allow because you are on that level okay you have passed that amateur some of them guys direct jump in pro and they get the result okay so i will always advise them to train first train technically be safe all the time i'm a uh, i'm dr roshan wade i'm a orthopedic surgeon and sports injury and sports medicine consultant I've been practicing in Mumbai for more than 20 years now, and we are dealing with all kind of sports injuries, especially the karate, boxing, the mixed martial art. MMA is little more dangerous sport because uh, sometimes it can be life-threatening injuries, like head injury or concussion injuries to the head, and patient and uh, the athlete can die on table. So one has to be very very prepared for this kind of injuries when you are dealing with these sports. Uh, I feel uh, this sport should not be played unless you are trained, trained at good place, trained to uh, defence yourself, trained to avoid those injuries because prevention is the best cure to any treatment. One should not land up in major disastrous injury because sometime it can be uh, career-ending or life-threatening uh, injuries and which can be very dangerous for an uh, amateur athlete or even for a professional for that matter. Uh, I'll, I'll advise the amateur fight, fighters to train yourself in the right pattern to uh, develop that endurance. Try to learn the uh, techniques and tackling techniques where you can easily escape out of major injuries like somebody is holding you uh, your wrist or somebody is holding your neck. Try to come out of it. Try to learn how to come out of it. And once you learn that technique, I feel you can avoid your injuries. Prevention is better than cure. So avoid injury, prevent injuries, you will be a better athlete. about this tournament at that time i told my family that uh, maybe i told them that i have joined this uh, boxing classes not mma okay and uh, just for the fitness purpose okay. and then just uh, last week i told that there is a tournament i want to participate into that so they were saying you are an engineer why are you going into this stream uh, just be engineer that is fine <laughs> the first when i started fighting like uh, my parents were all 100% against with me yeah. they say no 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 you will you can lose anything yeah. even they show me all the time See, this guy broke his arm. See, this guy broke his nose. My, first of all, my family don't like it that I went to fight. That's why. So, mama, mama and papa, don't go. You will hurt yourself. That's why. But I prepare myself. I push them that let me go. I will do my thing. Uh, at first, they were not so supportive. But once I started winning, then they were supportive. Are they ever afraid? Because, they, because it's to most people, it's a very dangerous sport. I've never in invited my uh, family members to s watch my fights, so actually they don't know what happens in the cage. Okay. Uh, my dad supports me. My dad likes to fight me. And my dad says that I represent India on international level. Uh, she's uh, very happy that I represent India on international level. She's very happy that I represent India on international level. She's very happy that I represent India on international level. She's very happy that I represent India on international level. She's very happy that I represent India on international level. She's very happy that I represent India on international level. She's very happy that I at the start, uh, I, my family was very apprehensive, you know, from a well-to-do family, a good student. I was really a good student, uh, but then I was like, okay, I, I think this is my thing, so I won't uh, concentrate on studies this much. 
but now they are okay with it. They see highlights of me winning, so I think they have made their peace with it, you know. At first, they were not able to digest what was MMA, so they just thought maybe it's just something to do with fitness. But then once uh, India started coming out with MMA movies and all, when they actually got the idea that it's a uh, combat sport, then they're a little bit concerned, but then they know that at the end of the day, I will do what I do uh, best, and they have always given their blessings and support. start developing fighters from the grassroots level so we, we want to make sure that not only they they are good from the way they, where they, we give them training and nutrition and uh, the guidance but also we take them to world championship conduct many more amateur championship so people are seeing more MMA it's just not about fighting anymore it's about representing your country it's about representing your nation representing yourself so you're seeing everything coming in the media and they're growing lift and down. Yeah, uh, IMF is a really a non-profit organization and it's really doing a great job for fighters. Uh, I've seen IMF uh, in the Brave, they conduct Brave, yes. they conduct Brave as well as Kumite only. They're really doing a good job and uh, they are, every year they're organizing MMA championship which, which is good future for amateur beginner fighters. I'm off. They are doing a very well, well job. वो लोग international sports में लेके जा रहे हैं. वो लोग I'm off championship में बाहर लेके जा रहे हैं. Bahrain में लेके जा रहे हैं. Continue national games organize कर रहे हैं. International games हो रहा है. हर state में हो रहा है. तो they are doing very good job. Right now, every uh, like uh, they have now earned the fame for themselves because every fighter now wants to fight in MMA. Not because it's the most popular. Not because it's the biggest promotion. It's certainly that, but because uh, it's re really clean. Like they have transparency in their world. Like if you talk to somebody who at the like top level, he will uh, like reply to you. It's not that he will say to you that I am at the top level. You need to uh, conduct someone at the lower level. They are very helpful and very communicative in that perspective. AIMMF has given a platform for the athletes to you know get get the things done right. You there's an order uh, like I said it's a new sport in India, so there's not a lot of uh, platform for uh, athletes. So AIMMF is uh, organizing tournaments to help these young athletes. In every developing nation, developed nation, you have competition at various stages. If you don't have competition, in, in underdeveloped stages, you see that uh, there's a degree competition, district competition, and you go directly to nationals. So you don't get the required experience. AIMMF is providing that experience. There, uh, there is a very high potential. In fact, there is a lot of money involved in it. I urge to all the big sponsors to keep uh, uh, supporting this event, this is a very good uh, initiation by All India Mixed Martial Association. 
I would like to thank Mr. Aditya, who is the chairman of the All India Mixed Mass Association, taking complete uh, pivotal role in uh, progressing and advancing this uh, sport in every corner of India. More, this sport has now become more and more commercialized, and that's uh, made uh, you know way for uh, like entry for people like uh, these cheaters and all, who you know don't pay their fighters really well, who cheat their fighters. There are no medical uh, supplies for the fighters. I have been in those events. I have seen myself. So, because this sport is not so much regulated, uh, it makes it easy for such people to get into the, into the sports. Uh, for that, I would say like MMA is doing a real uh, AIMMF is doing a really great job with that. Now, if you look at look at the chart from the past five years, you will see the MMA has grown leaps and bounds. Uh, five years back, nobody knew about MMA. It, you know, it was just a, people used to call it as a cage match. But now, if you look at it, everybody knows about it. It's just because of the proliferation of MMA in the media. What's next for you? On to the next fight. Because it doesn't stop here. Because yes, we all go through the loss, we all go through our wins. But then after the loss, you need to actually, yeah, you take some time to recover, regain that confidence again. But then, you know, this is a sport. That you win, you lose. But you have to keep moving forward. Because the target is not to win only amateur fights. The target is to get to the pro fight level. Uh, let's see. Whichever fight comes, I would like to do that fight. And what's the dream at the end of the day? Uh, UFC fight. My next step is like, uh, I want to fight every event. Wherever I will get, I will come. I just want I don't have time. I already miss, I'm 25 years old. So, and I've never practiced earlier. I just want a good experience and I just want a, as a, I mean, a trained person. I want to get uh, ready for the international fight. As much as I can do. Take me and practice karna padega. Actually, I have practiced it for one week. I have practiced it for one week. So, it's like that we have to do more practice. And if you do a little bit of a knockout, it will be good. I mean, I want to say that you respect your opponent's coaches. So, let's learn. And this game is a game that we have to do. So, we have to do a little bit of a good game. I would encourage all of you fighters who lost today that today is not the end of it, it is not something where you hit the full spot, uh, the full stop in your career or in your success rate, it is just a stepping stone to an even better success. So keep fighting, don't stop, that's all I can say.